Okay, so for what we're going to do for the first tutorial is we're going to just draw the shape of the mechanism. If it's not already turned on, you're going to want to turn on your origin. And to get us started, we're going to create a sketch and we're going to create a sketch on the um, bottom plane. So it's like we're building our clock kind of on um, facing up. And we're going to go get a center point rectangle. And now the important thing here is to hover over the origin, so that way it's anchored to the origin. And the measurements of the mechanism is 56 millimeters on both sides. Now if I hit enter right now, what's going to happen is it's going to actually lock in that 56, but it's not going to change the um, other measurements. So instead, what I want to do is I want to type in 56. Instead of hitting enter, I'm going to hit tab, and that takes me to the other box. I'm going to hit 56. I'm going to hit enter, and now you can see I've got my um, square, and everything is black, which means it's constrained, so that Fusion knows exactly where everything is on the page. You'll also see these little parallel lines here. That is what's called a par um, parallel constraint, and that means that these lines are parallel to each other. So the second thing I need to do is I need to curve the corners because the corners of the um, mechanism are actually rounded. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna use the fillet tool. And to order to curve this corner here, I need to click on both of the lines on each side of it like that. And you can actually curve more than one corner. If you just go around and click on all of the edges, It'll curve them all. Now that's way more curved than I need. So um, the actual curve, so we do that, we, we call this the radius, and it's gonna be 4.5. And so what that means is you can see the center of the circle here. So that means that if you were to draw a circle around that center, that would be a radius 4.5. So I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna go finish sketch. And now you have, if we click on the home button up here, you can see we've now drawn the shape of the mechanism on the bottom plane here.